was never, um, you know, like these kids that you see nowadays that are so confident and glamorous. You know, when you see these kids that are so glamorous and fashion conscious, and I was never like that. I just didn't cross my mind. I was into amateur dramatics and books and stuff, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I wasn't, or I wasn't image conscious or anything like that. So, you know, I remember being sort of 14 and really fancying this boy and then he wasn't interested and thinking, what's wrong? You know, but everybody has that. Yeah, it was great, actually. I loved the prosthetic nose bits because it just was, you know, I could, had a chance to just be silly and... Um, yeah, so I have quite a small nose naturally, and so th they wanted to make it look ridiculous and uh, kind of unbelievable in a way in size. So um, the nose was made, and then Stephen would say, "Just make it bigger and bigger," and it ended up being really large. And um, and yeah, and I did a test. I when I first had the nose put on, I went around in my school uniform and the wig that I wear, and. Um, people ignored me on set and told me to leave and not make cups of tea for myself because it was for the cast and crew and it was actually really helpful because um, that's how Tamara feels inside mm. all the time. Um, as, but I loved it and I still have the nose actually, I've got it in my in my downstairs loo. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, I the, so the first thing I read was the script and um, then I was sent the graphic novel as backup, you know. And it was interesting because I read the script and loved it. It really captured my imagination and it was unique and fresh and clever. But there, I couldn't really place myself. I couldn't really visualise it because I'm not from that world and it felt odd to me. And then when I read the graphic novel, it, it just sort of, you know, lit it all up for me. And, um, and I could see, you, you know, you got it right there in front of you. You can see these characters and how how detailed they are and how really well observed they are and so that was what did it for me I, I sort of said well of course this is a dream job and um, have since read all of Posey's books and she's absolutely just such an incredible woman and uh, she should be an actress because she's so good at characters and and observing characters and yeah she's amazing yeah I I think, I mean, the reason I wanted to play her was because at first I didn't get her at all. I, d I just didn't understand why she did the things she did and I wanted to work out why. And um, I suppose you draw from your own experiences as much as you can and then you have to use your imagination and, or draw from people that you've met. Um, and, uh, yeah, I suppose the only thing that we can relate to is that we've, we both uh, sort of feel geeky when we were younger and then went back away to the big city and transformed and and I suppose that's it. Um, everything else is kind of new to me. I suppose she has, you know, she's quite sparky and quite witty. Um, I like to think of myself as both. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then actually I, I, t I drew, uh, most of my the characterization came from somebody that I had met who was very similar to Tamara Drew. Um, and I always was intrigued by this person because I didn't understand them and I felt sorry for them um, and uh, so yeah for me it was quite a I still feel like I, I haven't worked her out she's kind of a conundrum mm. and she was when I first read the script I thought oh finally an, an accurate and honest and brave portrayal of a woman written by a woman you know something that's not sugar-coated or um, exp you know overly explained and women are conundrums. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.